Hello guys, Mr. Camzilla here, and apologies for not doing videos as often as I usually do. Um, things are just busy as of now with my um, just personal life, so um, I'm trying to get together a regular upload schedule or at least once a week or something like that, um, along with live streams, which may be moving to Twitch, we'll see. Um, but yeah, just anyway, thanks for sticking around everyone, I really appreciate it, and um, I've been getting spam comments. Um, spam messages on Discord, lots of pings, um, because Wave 3 has been, um, or pictures for it have been released. So World Minifigures, um, as you know if you've been following um, some of my content, has made two, um, like, Sonic uh, bootleg figures, waves, and they've made a third one. Um, and, I mean, it has a couple that I, um, I think I predicted originally and a bunch of people were um, wanting, and also um, a couple of the figures that were pretty much 100% confirmed already because World Minifigures had teased them or shown head molds of them quite a while ago, so um, not anytime recently, but um, anyway, I'll go through them and just um, cover them like I usually do, and yeah, this, it's we got a couple interesting figures, so um, yeah, anyway, let's get into it. Um, first off, we have Jet, Jet the Hawk. Um, so, since we've got Jet here and we had Storm in the last wave, I'm going to assume that there will be a fourth wave that will have Wave the Swallow, so hopefully, yeah, we get Wave. Um, Jet here has got his goggles, I can't see much of his head, um, I don't know uh, what it looks like at the back, I'm sure it looks pretty good. Um, printing looks basic, yeah, it's normal, that's what Jet looks like, and it appears he's got his little skateboard just like um, Storm the Albatross did. Uh, technically it should be extreme gear or like airboards um, or whatever they call. I think they're extreme gear or something like that. They're from Sonic Riders. That's um, then they're the Babylon Rogues. Um, anyway, yeah, that's Jet. Not much else to say about him. He was kind of expected. Um, second of all, unexpected but also expected was Metal Sonic, or at least this version. Um, they had teased this Metal Sonic, I think this was like the first, one of the first Sonic uh, figure teasers that they did, and it was kind of an interesting looking Metal Sonic, and um, when they released just the regular looking Metal Sonic, um, I guess, yeah, I didn't really take this into full consideration, but I guess they actually went through and made it. Um, I'm a little disappointed, because I feel like they could have used this opportunity to make Metal Knuckles, which would have been a much better um, thing to do, just because, I mean, they did Ray based off of the comics design, I feel like, so I'm sure they definitely could have done Metal Knuckles, and yeah, anyway, Metal Knuckles is in a game, never mind. Um, sorry, I just thought he was in the comics, but he is in a game too, as well. Um, I believe so. Double check me on that. Um, anyway, this is, I feel like it's a wasted spot, the arms they could have used for Metal Knuckles, along with the legs, they're the special... Um, like fawn legs that Lego originally used and so these are just ripped off versions of those um, but the the legs and arms combo I feel like that would have just been better on a metal knuckles so they've definitely wasted the opportunity sadly um, but it is what it is I guess so no complaints pretty much the exact same metal sonic um, just arms and legs difference um, third pretty much 100% confirmed figure was sticks we uh, saw a head mold quite a while ago of that, um, which I didn't cover because that was like long, long before, or like way, way before I started channel. Um, she's, yeah, she sticks. She looks pretty decent. I mean, I don't know um, what really to say. I'm not a big, big fan of Sonic Boom, so it's kind of like, eh, it's, it sticks. Yeah. She's got a clear Chaos Emerald, yeah, or a white Chaos Emerald, I don't know, whatever you want to call it, gray. Um, but yeah, that sticks. Um, and then next is Knack the Weasel, who is awesome to be getting those. The Hooligans, um, I feel like those are awesome uh, characters, so I'm really glad that they actually chose to do the Hooligans. Um, so Knack, his head, has, his head looks a little interesting, um, but what I'm noticing, I feel like, is that the um, hat and head will be separate pieces, because the hat actually seems to be one of the regular um, like versions of the Indiana Jones hat that Lego originally used, but here's just a 
ripped off version, but it's got a nice black line there if that's actually printed in like that. Um, it's very cartoony as well how Knack looks, so I really like it. He's got a gun, because why not? Um, and yeah, he's pretty cool. Um, speaking of hooligans, next we have Bark the Polar Bear, who is looking amazing um, with his toque and head combo there. Um, he's even got his boxing gloves there, or his just, yeah, his big mitten gloves, because he's a polar bear. He's pretty cool. Um, now, I, I don't know much else to say about Bark. He looks pretty cool, um, but this also makes me think even more that there will be Wave 4, because we have two hooligans out of um, three, so hopefully we'll get Bean um, in Wave 4. Or no, yeah, Wave 4. There we go. Anyway, next is Chaos, who... Um, we were kind of predicting before, a lot of us, I feel like. And um, because we got Tikal and we figured, oh yeah, Tikal's a bit of an obscure figure, so wouldn't it be interesting if we got Chaos? And so um, here's Chaos. He looks really great, so they did they nailed Chaos Zero here. Um, I feel like just having a little bit of like a brain in the middle there would have been nice. Um, or just something visible to show that his brain is in there. Um, would have been a cool detail, but I mean, it's kind of hard because it is a solid figure. He seems to have two of those blue power blast pieces, which work quite well um, for representing water. Um, I can't really see the back of his head mold, but I'm sure it looks pretty great. Um, from the front, he looks really cool. So, yeah, I was going to try and build a brick built Chaos Zero, but um, pretty hard, especially when you don't have that much of that blue shade. So getting a minifigure here was great. Um, and then, yeah. Next is SBO, who comes with one of those rings that will not look like that. Um, in the picture, they look like normal rings that you would get from LEGO, except that they're not actual real LEGO. Um, he also comes with a clear great chaos emerald or whatever, which is interesting. I feel like they should have included it in a different color. Um, yeah, that just would have made it better. Um, uh, so as you remember last wave, we got Charmy and Ray of the Chaotix, so um, now we have Espio, and that makes me think that wave 4 will get Vector maybe, Mighty hopefully, um, those would be awesome characters to get, especially Vector in a minifigure form, I feel like that would be awesome because, um, yeah, that would look pretty interesting. Um, Espio looks really cool, I don't know what his back printing looks like, if he has like his little spikes on the back, or his curly tail, um, or his chameleon tail, um, but the head mold looks really nice. Um, can't see much of the horn there, because it's kind of, um, it's like a, it's a 2D image really, so it's kind of hard to tell. Um, we'll see in the future as they um, uh, release teaser images, and I'll leave a link down in the description to their um, Instagram post of this, so that you can um, follow them in, on Instagram and kind of check their updates and stuff like that, and they've got some other cool figures as well. Um, but I'm more interested in the Sonic stuff than anything else. And um, last but not least, we have Infinito is how they put it, but um, we all know that's infinite. Or, yeah, so <laughs> Infinite the Jackal. Um, or I think his name is... Oh, I can't remember his name at the moment, but I believe he has an actual name. Um, they, did, they did a pretty good job on how this head, I love how it looks with the hair at the back. I'd love to see what the back looks like um, in hand, but they've just, yeah, this was really unexpected. I didn't expect them to make something from Forces, especially Infinite, but it seems like they're trying to do a bunch of um, characters that nobody's really expecting or that LEGO would probably never end up doing. And um, speaking of that, celebrations for the Sonic Mania set being further considered. Now that doesn't mean they're 100% going to do it, um, but LEGO is considering taking the LEGO Mania set as a LEGO Ideas set, so... Um, good luck Toaster Girl on that, I don't know how that's going, but um, fingers crossed that they do push through with that. Um, anyway, that is uh, back to what we were originally talking about, um, Wave 3 here. Um, so, I think it's a good wave, um, we've got some nice figures, I'd say out of the three waves, wave two was probably my, um, favorite, just figures wise, um, though you know, I never know, you never know, I might like these better when I have them in hand, um, but, um, yeah, 
So, um, with these figures being released, I'm starting to reconsider a lot of things, especially in regards to uh, my stop motion series, because I was trying to make an adaptation of Sonic Forces where I basically, you know, don't make Sonic Forces a thing and then it's kind of like, hey, this is what would have been better or this is my version of the story. So, now that we've got Infinite here, and I, I don't know how many people, um, or like what people think exactly of Infinite, but I, um, so as of now, the stop motion series has been postponed just because I'm quite busy and I want to be able to make this a stop motion series that I can sit back and say, wow, I did a, I did my best on this and I'm proud of what I did. So, um, I don't want to rush it, so it will be pushed back. Um, voice actors, feel free to apply still. For those of you that have applied, thank you so, so much and please just be patient a, a, a little while longer. I'm really sorry. Um, but with these figures um, being released wave three, I'm starting to um, rewrite script a bit because I feel like having more of these characters allows for a bit more story and um, more characters as well. It just it adds to the story. Again, I don't want to have too too many characters just because I feel like that gets complicated after a while. But still, having these characters, and you never know, I might even wait until Wave 4 is released to get some more figures as well, but um, yeah, as of now, stop motion series. Not for a while. But anyway, these figures are amazing. Um, I love what World Minifigures is doing with all of these um, obscure Sonic characters. Well, not obscure some of them, but just a lot of Sonic characters that um, LEGO hasn't done in LEGO form. Um, so yeah, if you want to pick these up, um, they're not available currently, but I will leave a link to the World Minifigures website where you can um, probably purchase them when they are available and uh, I'm not sure when that is, they haven't confirmed when. Um, but yeah, that'll be sometime in the future. I'll leave that link in the description. And I think shipping is generally around a month for um, a lot of people from World Minifigures. So yeah, I've had um, uh, like positive interactions with them and I know a lot of people that have ordered from there and also have had their um, orders shipped in as well. So they're quite reliable as well. Um, now predictions for Wave 4, predictions for Wave 4, uh, definitely Wave, Wave the Swallow, um, Bean the Duck, Vector the Crocodile, Rouge the Bat, we still need Rouge, Rouge has to happen, Mighty the Armadillo, um, and then there's three empty slots that I was really thinking about um, what they could do, because I believe last time I had predicted um, a bunch of figures, but I, I don't exactly remember what I had predicted before. Um, but I feel like there there is a lot of um, open possibility for them to do here, especially because they've done Infinite, which makes me think they might try and do more villains. So Deadly Six, maybe I don't know. That'd be interesting in minifigure form. Um, I've heard people asking for E123 Omega. I mean. As a, like, doing that as a minifigure, I feel like, would just kind of look a little off, but, I mean, if you just want, like, an E123 Lego thing, you could just watch one of my tutorials, you know what I mean? I'm totally not advertising. Um, anyway, um, but yeah, that, that is a possibility. Um, and yeah, I think some other people were also asking for a bunch of, um, different characters. Omochao would be really awesome if we could get Omochao, please, World Minifigures. Figures. Um, but yeah, anyway, that's just what I think. Um, so what do you guys think? What are your guys' predictions for this upcoming Wave 4 that is, um, I think it's pretty much confirmed, or at least based on how they're doing things, it's kind of going to happen, because uh, after we analyzed Wave 2 and we were like, hey, there's Storm and um, Charmy and my, or Ray, so maybe they'll do apologies. The card just um, alerted me that it is now full. Clearly I need to delete some stuff. Um, and I mean that in the sense of um, I have not deleted any of the clips from any previous videos. So um, I should probably do that. Free some room on the 64 gigabyte SD card. 
Anyway, um, what I was saying is that, yeah, Way 4 is pretty much confirmed at this point. Um, we can expect that. And I want to hear what you guys think um, we'll get for Way 4 down in the comments. So, yeah, just list off um, eight characters who you think or who you hope for for Way 4. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Um, again, really sorry for not uploading as often as I usually do. Um, and thank you all for your constant support still, your comments and likes and um, everything, yeah. Thanks for subscribing, and if, if you haven't subscribed and you're just watching this for the first time, or um, if you're returning, please leave a like. Consider subscribing as well. Um, we've got a pretty good community going, I'll leave a link to my Discord also down in the description, so feel free to join that as well. We've got some great people, um, very safe environment. I've made sure of that because I want it to be a safe com community where everyone can go. Anyway, thanks so much for watching everybody, I'll see you guys next time.